Welcome to the first video in the series Visual Studio Extensions for testers and not only. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you like writing code documentation? I mean, I have here a couple of tests which some of them have some mini documentation, some of them have no documentation. And if you're like me, you don't really like to do this. I mean, who likes to type uh, documentation and this function does this, the other function does that. Uh, but what is there a way to at least get some information or have some information written for us? Now, I have an extension here for, for you. Uh, it's called Mintlify. And how does this work? So on the one hand, it you need to select or, or you can have it auto-select the language that it has to write documentation for. And how does this work? Well, you go to, let's see, you, you can select here a, a whole test and you just do generate documentation. Now, this code isn't the best. This code isn't the best and so the documentation isn't the best, but at least you have the brackets written for a doc, multi-line, and it says that it's a test written in Java. Uh, it's sorry, in JavaScript for, for Cypress, and you can just add, um, it is a demo for a YouTube video, and of course, add some more information. But it does work better in case you have commands. So if you have a command here and you spend time uh, on it, you you, you um, thought about everything, but again, documentation, tedious, woo. Uh, and we can tend to be, let's say, creative, not lazy. So again, you select it and then you can do, do generate documentation. Um, and you, you have the first part here. Let's see how it does here. As you can see, it, it does to, it, it does help. Now it's not perfect like any, so, so given AI, it still has to learn, it still has to improve. Um, but from my point of view, it is something that can help. Let's give it a test or um, Let's, let, let's give it a try in, in, in another test. So we have here pieces of, of code and let's try to generate documentation. Okay, so this is like registration. Sounds about right. Uh, let's see if it um, sees that I'm doing some assertions here. It does, which is good. Let's see if he can figure out I do some login. Okay, and again, some assertions. Now, as I said, it's not perfect. Um, and you can say here, it even asks you, uh, do you find it useful, not useful? Yes, no. Well, tell me about tell me about this yourself. Do you find this useful? Do you find this extension to be something that you would use? Do you have other extensions that you use to generate uh, code? Write in the comments, like the video. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.